Last hold. Warrington back on their well, own last. try line. Last tackle coming up, and no Brian. They're going to run it, so and it's snapped up. And Ashton, Ashton picks that pass off. He is gone. Matty Ashton disappears into the distance, and Casabet Tigers are absolutely dumbstruck. Pressing on the Warrington line, firing the pass out wide on the last play. They went for it, but it's Warrington who come up with the points. Matty Ashton gets his first of the new season. Virtually the length of the field. What a sensational effort from Warrington. Hold. So three. big boots to fill for Joe Philbin. Here is Williams now. Ratchford stepping in. With a little burst of place and a bounce pace and bounce off the first. Gets the pass away. And a lovely try from the Warrington Wolves. A lovely try for George Williams. And what a finish that was, but with the architect, bouncing, stepping, first of pace. And Warrington extend their lead. Williams with his first try of the season. And another penalty, and Casper Tigers pay the price. It's what's playing the ball. Castleford Tigers with an opportunity maybe here with Kenny Edwards and Edwards will bump oh, over the line yeah. or will he? Double movement, yeah. Edwards blew the chance, he didn't need to. Well, he just couldn't resist, could he? You know, it seemed to open up. Unfortunately for Castleford, it's double movement. Toby King, fifth tackle. Hold! Williams into position, Widdup into position. It's Widdup who'll go for one and squirt it towards the posts. It ricochets and comes back into the hands of Jake Mamo. One, and drop ball there. He oh, just hits the post. Hold. Go three. Here is O'Brien. O'Brien, puff of the cheeks, gets the ball to Truman. Truman, Evels, and it's on to Alfred, and Alfred flies in at the corner. Darrell Alfred gets exactly what the Casper Tigers needed at the start of this second half. His third try of the season already, got two last week in the defeat against Salford. And in front of those jubilant Casper Tigers supporters, he's got Casper on the board. Hold. Warrington looking to respond to that try from Darrell Alford. And they might do now as the ball reaches Charlie. Charlie skips in field. Charlie gets his 250th of his career. Classic finish from Josh Charlie. Taking the pass, a skip to Ron Foot, the defender. You said that 250 tries, and that's in 293 appearances. Appearances, phenomenal, phenomenal effort. George, come on! Hold. Thank you. Go far. Here is Williams now. Williams, short pass to Mulhern. Mulhern, bulldozing try. Rob Mulhern hit that one at pace and just did not stop. That's his first try since. Playing against St Helens in 2019 at Wembley. When you're 18 points behind on the scoreline, you're a big forward in the middle. You're looking, oh. yeah, you're looking for your outside backs to do some work. And here we go. Metautia will capitalise on that error and get a try for Warrington. Oh, it just goes from bad to worse for the Catamar Tigers. Possession gifted, and Lee Radford. Cannot believe what he's seeing there. They were in enough trouble as it is. The ball with Gareth O'Brien. O'Brien into a bit of space in front of those posts. The ball is picked off by Truman. And the referee, I think, will award this try. Longstaff couldn't handle it. And Truman gets a try under the sticks. Kick to come. 28-8 the score. It looked like there was nothing on in that set of six then. And just put yourself where the action is, and Jake Truman just manages to come down with that ball. Hold. Go last. 
Williams, will he dribble a little kick in? No, he'll dink one over the top, and Charlie will get his second. Absolutely audacious from Charlie. He picked the cause of a Tiger's pocket with that one. He just climbed higher than anybody else. And Josh Charlie is already on four tries for the season. Time on. From Steph Ratchford from the sideline with this conversion again on target. 34-10. The scoreline.